Hey, what's up, guys? Big Tex fam. We're here with Leroy. We just got finished, as you can see, doing some videos. And uh, he was giving us some good instructions on how to keep from injuring ourselves, good exercises to kind of take care of things and keep things going in the right direction as far as uh, movement and all that. Um, we're going to discuss right now some peptides and kind of other things that can help you if you haven't done what Leroy was teaching you to do. What happens is basically you get injured. And what happens when you get injured and you still want to stay in the game? Well, um, to have this thing, I'm not saying that, you know, recommending anybody to take it or anything like that. I'm not condoning anything. I'm just saying this is what it does. Use the information however you please. Don't take it. It's not for human, blah, 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 all that kind of shit. Anyways, <laughs> going to it. BP157. Here's what it is. Uh, it heals shit, in short. It really does. It's a fucking miracle drug. It uh, heals liver disease. It heals it faint eye drops out of it. The shit fucking heals uh, eye injuries and stuff like that, as little as like 72 hours. But having it uh, be injected into rats, uh, for research purposes, it actually heals like tendons and ligaments that are injured very fast. It speeds up and accelerates the healing process like you wouldn't believe. So if a rat were to be bodybuilding, or powerlifting or whatever and pull something or tear something that it shouldn't have done, well then this rat would heal super fast with research studies using this BP-157 and it would be able to go right back into the game doing what it needs to. Um, you got anything you want to add about the peptide or? Pretty much everything Rob said is spot on. Um, as a powerlifter or even bodybuilders, we all have those gym fuckery moments, those aha, that turn to oh shit. <laughs> and before you know it, you're you're almost out of the game, you're injured, you're fucked up. What am I gonna do next? Do I need surgery? I, I think those are all the kind of initial emotions, but emotions you may have, but now that with the advance of science and other, you know, technologies, BP-157 is something I came across uh, firsthand. I had some peg strains um, and I used it. The thing that's good about it is it's basically a poor man's derivative of growth hormone. It's like the ugly stepchild that the industry doesn't want you to know about because it's way more cost effective to come across and you're not you're not gonna get um, fake. I don't think anybody's making fake EP157. Now the, you can argue the pharmaceutical grade of it might vary from company to company, but for most of the part, it's relatively inexpensive, it's very easy to use, very easy to apply. A lot of times the instructional videos you see are going to prescribe that you take it once a day. Everybody that I've known that I've come across that has had success with it, they're doing two dosages at AM and PM. And uh, like I said, for, for strains that normally would have had me out of the game a month or even longer if I kept trying to lift on them, I was back in normal form like it never happened within a week. And I don't know anything else that can help you heal that fast. They call it the uh, the Wolverine drug. They call it Wolverine elixir. It's got a lot of different names, but uh, on here we're gonna call it by what it's known as. It's compound peptide BP157, and uh, it for the most part it does everything it's cracked up and it's hyped up to do. Yeah. Now we do want to clarify: peptides are not considered a banned substance or illegal, correct? That's basically correct. Okay. So, I mean, there's federations out there and stuff like that, obviously, when you're messing with them, obviously they're gonna be like, hey, we wanna make sure that you don't have these substances in your body. But technically a peptide is for research purposes. Um, you can get prescribed certain peptides. I'm actually prescribed several peptides, uh, the legal way and all that good stuff. They're massively useful, just in general health and well-being for all those, you know, media, crusaders out there who are trying to go out and say that oh this is bad this is unhealthy I guarantee I'm gonna outlive 90% of them so <laughs> yeah I mean you're not you're not gonna get this from your street corner gym bro science thug dealer uh, you know the video out there y'all talking about me <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're not you're not I haven't come across a uh, a gym a gym bro science dealer a Vinny, if you will that's gonna deal you this stuff everything I've come across has been uh, from a laboratory or you know from a legit website, so there's li very little reason for them to put out fake stuff I think it's all pretty much on the up and up. It's pretty legit and other than that I, th I think if you know the worst thing you it's gonna happen you're gonna be out 50 bucks and I don't know of a surgeon that's gonna operate and fix a strain or a tear for, no. 
for a cheaper cost and have you recover and back under the on the platform or back on the stage competing Before any sooner than BP157. Yep, absolutely. Thanks,